this evening again I was at the father I went for a visit and uh, you know uh, what police have done to keep me coming at night hours is just unbelievable they flooded my room with the moths infested one even with the moths with my mother I had a severe disagreement because of her attitude uh, I don't know how many of you remember uh, more or less when it all started uh, I also wanted to pay for other visits during the mornings but the psychiatrist cops and also the psychiatrist uh, I don't know what his name is again at the home for elderly people they had a plan with police to make a claim bold claim against me that I'm coming to disturb father deliberately before the sleep and causing harm actually problems even to other residents if you remember how my father have responded on several occasions screaming so hard that you could you know it alerted uh, the medical staff all the way to uh, to their office you know for uh, taking one socks off uh, and another time for lifting one up and trying to place him back on the bed which he wouldn't allow so that I would overstay since we're talking about overstay this is just to demonstrate that uh, the time when I left today was 1918 hours uh, they close at 1945. I think father thought that we're going to be playing games and uh, I just turn around and I walk away. All right, there's no time for that. Yeah, just like the case was with uh, uh, saliva in his mouth that he would use uh and they would present me with this issue that in mk ultra how i have to clean his mouth and stuff like this um he chewed that inside of his mouth yeah rather than then he would allow uh you know to be assisted just as the case was with the hearing aid that also can be seen how i just in the same fashion as today i asked him if he allows me to take the uh socks off because of what he did yesterday actually three days ago on the 23rd he started to yell uh, you know scream ah uh, you know when i was just taking him the socks off for which police however instructed me uh, are gonna be check this out He is having a tie socks again. Tie socks. You know, those are tie, very uncomfortable socks. Not a good stuff. But I learned the last time when I was what he did. And so instead I put put it on the camera. Uh, it looks like the light is part of him right there. Uh, not really. Either way, uh, this was a issue, big issue under MK Ultra. Uh, so I always make sure about that. That stuff would not bother him. I pull the lamp out and I use the lamp, uh, turning the light off. Here I got the flashlight. This is how the fuck I treat him. And uh, he is just having a lot, a lot of trouble. What's interesting is he started to shake from the anger today before I left he started to twitch his feet 
when I checked on the socks, all I wanted to do is I want to remind him if he wants me to take them away. And he go like full angry, full madness starts to uh, jump with his uh, with his feet over there, shake himself with the feet. When I try to, you see, this is a lamp. I use the lamp, so I turned off the phone. Yeah, I turned off the phone. This is the way I treat him. I ask him. So you can hear me also say. Uh, I explained him, I asked him if I can help him for several times, not only one time you're going to see. I asked him several times, he does not respond. There is the original video you have also, this is part one, this is part two. Home. Um, I pull the chair out. And you're going to hear the fear is going to be. I go, so I want to sit, right? So I go and I. And I go to take a sit. You, you hear this stuff. You hear this noise. Now you're going to see that these made a setup with the chair also. They attached the chair like a table. This also was the issue involved in MK Ultra. Check this out. But I fucked them and I go and I take the camera where I took the chair from and this I demonstrate a video record to it. Like Can you this. imagine? Uh, Can you imagine how the fuck this would look like? I would not video record this. Attached stuff. to it like this. So that when I pull the chair, you would pull this thing <laughs> off. This is shit is deliberate. It's the same thing. Can you like imagine the one how this would look like if I would do the stuff I do? It's actually police that instructed me to do this. This is the most older. disturbing the stuff. Basically about the it. same thing, the same settings. Well, you know, if they can fuck you, if they cannot get kill you immediately like this, they killed me already, man. I'm 52 years old. I didn't have any life. You know what I mean? The most of your life you live is up to the age 50. One human life, one to 50, yeah, the chair is accounts missing. for about maybe even 80% of human life. 20% probably is what's left after 50 when comparison to a life span. So, can you imagine what this looks like? What kind of stuff this is? So let's go forward. So, mm. I am concerned because I'm going to leave and I would prefer to see father sleeping well. So, I ask him again. Uh, don't even believe, don't even think about that this is, this is a very strong light. But this side, don't even think about bothers him because I lifted his uh, position. He was in a flat position when I came. Check this out. It was like in a completely flat position, totally flat position like this. Like completely like flat. Flat, flat is like flat, basically. Uh, just like there is a desk right there, you can see the position he was in. Completely down, right almost on the floor, basically. They had the bed completely, completely down, almost like on the bed, totally on the bed and on the flat position. So the police insisted me uh, when they when it's time to get rid of him, they did this kind of conspiracy theories, you know, all kinds of crazy conspiracy theories like this, uh, to to get to involve me, you know, to involve me to to in a, in a mind game basically, and then fuck you up like this. So here, 
Did you see this? I already lifted one. Uh, the bed, I lifted the bed, and there is a there is original video. Uh -huh, Aha, okay, here. You can see here, actually, I'm lifting the bed. I'm correcting the bed, you see? Now, the light, the light is on the top of this drawer. It's completely against the wall. It doesn't bother him, but it's very strong light. And uh, uh, did I get wrong? Light is there, my light, my personal flashlight. Uh, so that, what kind of light is this? Well... I can actually demonstrate what exactly this is. This is just a light that makes the whole thing like really, really pleasant experience. And this is basically the way I treated this man during every visit to him. This is the light like this, which you attach to the power bank and is if this here is the wall, right, on this side, if this is the wall, the power bank is placed in a such a way so that the light is completely, completely, excuse me, uh, like this, totally, totally against the wall, even I make sure about that, so that it would not be like this, but if it's like this, totally, totally against the wall. There's like no fucking way nicer than this you can, one can do it to accommodate. I do this because I don't want to use for him uh, the light they have inside of the uh, inside of the room because that light is actually really disturbing this was a, a another big topic about how you're going to come and approach and visit the father and what you're going to be using to talk to him this is the stuff they use during an MKH to brainwash to torture with it's fucking crazy stuff so I do everything possible, absolutely everything possible, uh, absolutely everything possible to accommodate him. They were playing with that kind of stuff too during MKH, flat, like flat. Yeah. So that there's no... Flat is, was used as a form of brain gas blood, basically. me that when we put him on a flat, just so you know, we're going to get rid of him, and so on and so forth. So, just trying to do my best. You can see in a video above. But it's uh, and just like with all other issues, uh, even the way they demonstrated me to clean his saliva from his mouth, his puke, which he wouldn't allow, he would choke, or rather he would choke and chew one and choke one. Uh, to feel sorry for him. Uh, what I do is, or with a hearing aid, when I offer him a hearing aid, he's pretending like he's stupid, like stupid, look at you like stupid. Then you give him a hearing aid, hearing aid and he will go like, no, nah, and, and give some kind of wild, basically, response and stuff like this. Yeah, so totally identical here with the socks. I don't touch him, I sit, I let it go. And uh, he starts with his game, just as he was instructed by psychiatrists. You, you're gonna see he's gonna start to get nervous and shake and stuff like this. It's like for me time to say bye-bye. Because this is basically what they wanna do. So I ask him one more time before I leave if he wants me to. Do you see how many times, how politely? I have to do this because he doesn't want the hearing aid. He won't do this. He won't fucking answer. He won't bother to answer. But check this out. Eh? Now I. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, probably can't be seen, but... I ask you one more time if you want me to take the socks off. Look at this. Boom! He give like, no, uh, like a rattlesnake no. type of answer. Like. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? 
It's just time for me to wish him a good night, a good night, think of my stuff, basically. I check on the cookies to see how much that went, how that went along. Uh, and Here is how much is left, so you can see this is... That's all that's left on the cookies. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, the rest is everything, the whole thing, the whole video is in a part number one. This is just part two, this is just a comment. But basically, this is how, how the police works. That's how they operate, and that's what they hope. Adio. At least they would negotiate with me, something like that it would be. Uh, I tell him bye bye and I go. I go to the rest of person. I mean, you can see, as I stated in uh, the beginning of this video. Also, the today's date, everything when I come out, I uh, didn't want even the time when I come out. I think Father thought that we're going to be playing games and. Uh... I just turn around and I walk away. Hey, there's no time for We're that. not going to be playing any games. They try to play the games, but I don't have the time for the games. That's all. Thanks for watching this video, folks. Cheers. You see, this is what they hope for, you know? Like, everybody's sleeping, everything like this, you know, and you go and... You now, if... He would get the response like he gave the last one. Uh, if 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 he would do something like this, like he did, what is it, 24? Two days ago when I was there. I was there two days ago. I'm checking on him, making sure that he's doing okay. But look at this stuff. Look, look the way they do this stuff. Look at this stuff here. <laughs> Look what it starts. They give the eology. They give it from the church, you know, like on a funeral. That's how they. That's that's how they. That's this. They try to portray this like as some kind of mind game, you know. That you're gonna get into it. You know. Listen, look at this. He only did this stuff to me once. That's it. Ain't gonna happen again. What's interesting, my father... <laughs> hey, man. Uh, what, how the hell did that uh, happen? This sucks. Did you see right there? One more time. A called Pozella. From Pozella. I'm going to tell you something else about how the police does the job. This socks were tested during MK Ultra, and it's this kind of socks that cause him pain. It's this kind of socks they tested them during MK Ultra. Psychiatrist Peter Kapscher tested all the socks on the father to see what kind of effect the socks had and have selected certain socks, literally, that would cause him a blood clot, pain. And those police would use accordingly with whatever they felt they would use to fuck me. That's how the police does the job. So the mother had to get the socks that police selected. When I asked my mama yesterday and today if I can bring father my socks, bigger size of the socks, so that he can have during the sleep bigger socks, she wouldn't allow any of it. She wouldn't allow any socks for the father. So, uh, play with the socks was involved also in my case to degree. They would literally make sure that the big size socks would not come to the city of the Nova Mesto. I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna release you the video when I'm gonna go to the five stores like cheap, big stores, the biggest stores, actually, to find no socks. And we have no money. 
to go to expensive store to throw I don't know how much money on a on a big size sock. They started to choke me with deliberate lack of the bigger size socks inside of the several stores in the in the city of the Novel Mesto. That's basically how they do it. This play with the socks, this police game, play play with the socks. Uh, it's something else. I don't know what they're trying to tell, what, what is it they're trying to, to, to tell the world, what, what is it, what this is about. The only thing I'm going to tell you about this German sickness is that uh, all your German money, all your guilt that you gave to the Slovenian scumbags here, to the Kuchan, is not going to pay enough for me to see myself in you again. I rather go. I rather go and do other stuff because this stuff is sick. This is a sick stuff. So that's all there is, folks, for this video. But this is how. This is what they. This is what they enforced for fifty-two years.